Have you been looking to start a container garden and have quite a bit of space to grow some vegetables? You may want to look into using 5-gallon buckets to grow some food. Being cheap and readily available, you can get your garden off the ground for next season with no trouble at all. Let's talk about setting up a 5-gallon container garden and some crops to consider growing. Greensmachines.com Welcome to Greens and Machines, your source for gardening, homebrewing, machining, metalworking, and other DIY tips, tricks, and guides. Today we are going to talk about starting a 5-gallon container garden. Let's start by setting up our bucket. You first need to source a 5-gallon container. It can be a new or used bucket or similar size container. If you are using a used bucket, be sure it didn't previously hold something toxic, like motor oil. An empty container of kitty litter is a perfect choice for a non-round container. The container setup is identical to how I set up my buckets for my container vineyard, but we'll go over it here in this video again. First, we need some drainage. If your container does not have drainage holes, drill some in the bottom of your container. I've included a diagram here of how I spaced the holes. After removing any excess plastic around the holes, I filled the bottom of the bucket with some pea gravel. Pea gravel helps with drainage. I know some gardeners that mix in rock dust with their soil to provide minerals to their plants, and I have a feeling that this layer of pea gravel has a similar effect. To finish off the setup, fill the bucket with some potting soil. Mix in some organic fertilizer when filling up the container. With our container set up, let's talk about planting something. Ideal plants for 5-gallon bucket gardening are those with large root systems that burrow deep. Most containers of this size are deeper than they are wide, so plants with shallow root systems that don't require much spacing, such as lettuce or cilantro, aren't the ideal choice. You'll notice that most of the vegetables on this list are those that produce fruits. Before I name the first vegetable, I put a link in the description below on more in-depth information on some of these plants, along with where to purchase some seeds. Okay, let's get into it. Number one, we have tomatoes. Tomatoes are the perfect vegetable to grow in a five gallon container. A bucket of that size is deep enough to allow the roots to grow deep and the right diameter to stick a tomato cage in. With plenty of space to grow a root system, you'll be sure to get big plants which produce tomatoes all season long. You can grow either cherry tomatoes for snacking on, plum tomatoes for making sauce, or full-sized heirloom tomatoes for slicing. Recommended varieties. Any cherry tomato, like red cherry large fruited, yellow pear, sweet 100, or sun gold, or any indeterminate full-size tomato like San Marzano, beefsteak, or other heirloom tomato. Number two, we have peppers. Peppers are an excellent choice to grow in a five gallon container. Like tomatoes, pepper plants should have no trouble establishing a large root system inside a five gallon bucket. With proper staking or pruning, you can get massive pepper plants producing all season long. If you do not have a way of staking your plants, I would recommend topping the plants when they are young, which will allow them to grow bushier. Although you can grow peppers in smaller sized containers, you won't have any variety restrictions when growing in five gallon buckets. So go crazy with bell peppers. Recommended varieties, any spicy pepper like Fresno, Anaheim, or Serrano, and sweet peppers like banana peppers and bell peppers. Number three, we have eggplant. The next plant on this list is also a cousin of tomatoes and peppers. Eggplants, or aubergines, have a different leaf style and tend to mature with purple and white flowers. If you like eggplant parmesan or fried eggplant, why not grow an eggplant this year? Eggplant comes in a lot more colors and shapes than you would imagine, so have a look around a seed catalog before buying some seeds. Recommended varieties, black beauty, white eggplant, long purple, for number four, we have cucumbers. This is the first plant on my list that isn't part of the tomato family. Cucumbers can fit perfectly inside a five gallon bucket. You will need to provide some sort of trellis system for the vines to grow up, such as a tomato cage or other improvised structure. When the flowers start to bloom, you may need to hand pollinate the fruits, otherwise they may fail to develop. When picking a variety to grow, keep in mind some cucumbers are better for slicing, while others are better for pickling. Recommended varieties, Space Master Cucumber, Lemon Cucumber, Straight 8, and last but not least, number 5, we have Cabbage, Broccoli, and Cauliflower. I'd like to mention the larger members of the cabbage family here. 
Although you can grow cabbages in containers with volumes as small as two gallons, more soil is better and it will lead to a larger head. Aside from heading cabbages, you should also be able to grow broccoli and cauliflower in a five gallon container. Despite the difficulty in growing these, five gallons is more than enough volume to provide the soil depth to the root systems of these plants. Although it can be done, you would have to wait until the plants are finished growing in order to harvest to enjoy the plant. Recommended cabbage varieties are Early Golden Acre, Red Acre, and Copenhagen Market. Recommended broccoli varieties are Calabrese, Waltham 29, and Romanesco. For cauliflower, find Snowball Y and Romanesco. Yeah, it's both a cauliflower and a broccoli variety. I hope this video helped you plan out your garden for next year. Question for you, what did you grow last year and what new plant do you plan on growing this year? Leave a comment below. If you're looking to use smaller size containers to start a garden, check out one of these videos here. If you like this video, be sure to like it by hitting the thumbs up button. If you want to see more gardening videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.